Volumes and levels are often one of the first things you need to fix in Audacity. So let's take a look at how you would fix a recording just like this. So often when you record voice, you'll have a couple of people speaking. They might have different volumes. Somebody's louder, somebody's quieter. So how do we fix this? Well, you have a loud bit at the start here and a quiet bit at the end, you can see. So if I select the whole thing, one of the first things I usually do is go straight to volume and compression and I'll go to normalize. So if I go to normalize, I can normalize a peak amplitude to minus one. That's generally a good level. You don't want to go to zero because that's right to the max. You want to leave a little bit of headroom. So minus one is the default and I would generally leave it right there. So you can see we bring the levels up and we have the louder part, which is almost at the max, but the quieter part is still very quiet. So what else can we do here? Well, next thing I would generally do is go to volume and compression and choose the compressor. And that'll help us compress down the louder parts to match more easily the quieter parts. So what can we do? We go to presets, factory presets. I actually quite like the modern one. You've got podcast and radio too as well. Then you've got vocal control, vocal touch up, a few that are suited for vocals. Some of these are more about music, so make sure you're sticking just to those. But actually, I do like just modern. It actually does work quite well. So if you watch the peaks over here on the left, what you have here is the threshold is what level it affects. So if you make that really loud, it only takes off the really loud, loud peaks. And if you make it really quiet like this, minus 30, it'll take off even the really quiet parts. So the default of about minus 14 is a good place to start. Let's click apply. And you can see that, that really has compressed that right down. So what we can do now is select the whole thing, volume and normalize again. So normalize again, bring everything back up and we have much more uh, even levels here. So I can play that, see what it sounds or like. Or business owners. Promoting a you can see that it still the doesn't sound quite right. So we've still got a fair bit of a difference there. So what can we do? Now, one thing we could do is just keep repeating this. We could keep compressing. So what I can do is I can go back. Now that I've brought it up, the compressor will, even at its default, affect minus 14, apply again, and it will bring it down. So it's given it a haircut again, bring it another uh, normalized level, apply. But at this point, we're starting to bring up the noise floor a fair bit. So you'll hear that right in the middle. For business owners. So there's a fair noise floor right in the middle. So actually, it's not an ideal way to go about it. So what I would do is I would go back, bring it back to here. So today we're talking business owners. Noise floor is still acceptable at that point. At this point, I would actually look to split. So what you want to do is start to split it up. This is obviously trickier if it's a whole conversation where the levels are different. It really highlights why it's really important to make sure that your levels are set at the start of the call. So when you're doing the call, try and make sure the two speakers are as level as they can be because actually fixing this later on can introduce problems. But what we can do is split it there and then suddenly I can just select this one, analyze that, effect, volume and compression, normalize, and only bring up that side. And For then, business owners. Promoting a podcast aimed at... And that does bring up the noise floor a little bit there, but it levels out the voices much more easily. So that's what I would go and do. And then at that point, you can go in and use noise reduction to actually get rid of this noise floor difference. And I'll show you that in a separate video. Check the description below for a link to my noise reduction video. Worth noting that while Audacity is great for the price, which is free, there are more modern, fully featured, helpful tools out there that make podcasting and audio editing much easier. For example, in Alitu here, you can record by yourself or with a group. It cleans up any audio you upload or record automatically, including noise reduction, leveling, normalization, all that stuff. You can edit super easily, just like this, and you can edit at double speed as well if you choose. And it includes text-based editing, so you can edit just as if you're using a Word document. Music fades are taken care of with just the click of a button, and you can add files to your timeline with just a click as well. And then finally, publish with all your detail in here, with the inbuilt hosting, and you can use AI to generate titles and descriptions if you want to.
If you want to check it out, go over to alitu.com. That's A-L-I-T-U dot com. And you can get a seven day trial to give it a shot. But one last thing to show you in here, effect and compression. In the compressor, like I said, the threshold shows you uh, exactly where the compressor is going to affect, like what volume of levels it will affect. But then you've got the ratio. And the ratio is more about the strength of that effect. So how much it will actually cut off. So if you bring that down, it's a little bit of a lighter compression, doesn't have so much of an effect. And if you bring it up, it's really heavy compression and it'll cut just about everything off. If I do that, you'll see in this, it'll give it a really flat haircut. Yeah, so it brings it really down. It can take away a lot of the dynamism of your voice. So over compressing can be quite a bad thing. It can make you sound a little bit overblown. It can be real kind of radio voice. So be careful with the compressor. I tend to not use compression if I can at all avoid it. I'll, I'd rather cut something up and affect it in separate sections and just use normalization to keep that real dynamic up and down and make sure I'm not affecting the background noise as well. It can really bring up the background noise with compression. So avoid it if you can. Um, and usually if you set your levels right at the start, you don't have to worry about compression at all because the levels will be close enough that normalize and maybe even a hard limit will actually have the right effect. Well, thanks for watching. For more Audacity tips, for more podcasting tips, creator tips, do hit that subscribe and follow button below and you'll be able to see all of the content we create in the future. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon.